to our channel. So today I wanted to do a fall look that was more on the dramatic side and it's hard to think of ideas that for the fall that don't all look the same. So I went ahead and did a copper and plum look for you guys and if you want to see how I got this look just keep watching. Bye! So like always, starting with a clean face and clean hands, I'm going to apply the Makeup Forever Step 1 Mattifying Primer. Once my primer is all blended into my face, I'm going to be going in with the Too Faced, or, yeah, the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation and Warm Beige. I'm also going to be mixing in two drops of the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops. And I literally do two drops because a little bit goes a long way with this stuff. This is just to kind of warm it up a little bit since I am a little bit tanner than my foundation. And it also makes it a little bit more full coverage. Next, I'm going to be going in with concealer, and like always, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Weightless Full Coverage Concealer in Medium Light. I'm going to put this down the sides of my nose, and then up towards the temples, creating a triangle. And then I've had, I have a little bit of some problem areas today, which is not usual for me, so I went ahead and put some on the forehead. I put it on the chin, the cupid's bow, um, around my nose. And then you'll see I kind of added on just like some of the little areas where I'm having a few unwelcome visitors. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender and blend all of that in. Once that's all blended in, I'm going to be going in with the NYX Set It Don't Fret It Loose Powder to set my face. And I usually only set my under eyes, but lately... I've been setting on my, my entire face with this because I found that the bronzer that I apply after kind of blends a lot better when it's blending with another powder instead of blending straight onto the foundation, if that makes sense. So now I'm going to be going in for my brows and I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Taupe. And my little spoolie broke off the end. That's what I showed you there at the beginning. I know it went kind of fast. I kind of sped this process up because bowing in brows is rather boring to watch. And now for eyeshadow, as always, I'm going in with my Morphe palette that is full of my favorite Makeup Geek and Morphe shadows. I'm going to be starting out with Beaches and Cream. Surprise, surprise. I'm going to put this all over my lids and up to my brows, just like usual. Next, I'm going to be going in with a Makeup Geek shadow in the color Latte. I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush, and I'm just going to apply this all in the crease just to give it a little bit more dimension, and it's a great transition color. Once that's blended in, I'm going to be going in with this little bitty brush from Elizabeth Arden, it's really random, and going in with the Morphe Golden Glory shade, and then I'm going to spray a little bit of Fix Plus onto my brush just to give it a little bit, just to get it wet a little bit so that it'll pick up that really pretty golden color and it'll apply it, it'll give it that foil look since it's not a foiled eyeshadow. I'm applying this all over my lid, all the way up to my crease, and then you'll see I kind of line out my crease to give it a sharp edge, but don't worry, I'll be going back in and blending that out. Next, I'm going in with the Morphe Shadow Secretive and a Real Techniques brush to apply this all along the outer V of my eyes to create the, to give it some depth on the outside. 
I really like this brush usually for applying a lot of color because it picks up a lot of pigment and it usually applies it pretty densely but you'll see here in a second I was not pleased with the amount of color that was going on so I switched brushes so I could get more color into the outer V of my eyes so it would be more prominent. And that's when I switched brushes, and you can see that brush was applying the color a lot more densely than the Real Techniques brush was. Once I'm happy with the amount of pigment that is on each eye, I'm going to be going in with a blending brush that has nothing on it, and I'm going to be running it all over my crease area to blend that out just so that it's there are no harsh lines. After I've blended that, I'm going to be going back in with that shadow Golden Glory and apply that back over the lid since I kind of covered it up with that purple color. And then I'm going to be going in with that same Morphe's color Secretive with a flat definer brush and I'm going to be putting this all along my lower lash line starting at the outer V and working my way in because I want the color to be darker on the outer v, on the outside of my V and lighter on the inside of my V to give it more of that smoky feel. Then I'm going to take that big brush that I used the top of my eyes to apply more color with no additional product on it just to blend that out under my eyes to make it more smoky. Once that's blended out, I'm going to be going in with a different brush. It's, it's not a flat definer brush, but it is a flat brush. I really don't know what to call it. Then I'm going in with that Golden Glory color and I'm going to apply that on the inner V of my eye, working it outward opposite of what we did with the secretive that we did outwards towards the in, inner part of my eye. That's really confusing. I'm not sure if I'm making sense, but I think you guys get what I mean. Then I'm going to be going in with this top left white shade, and this is a Morphe shadow, and the name of it is Cream Puff. I'm applying this to the inner corners of my eyes just to make my eyes look a little bit bigger and more open. I'm also going to be applying this to the high points of my brows to highlight the brow bone, and it'll just make everything look a little bit more clean. Then I'm going to be lining my upper and lower waterline with the Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in the color Perfect Black. Then I'm going to be going in with lashes and I'm using the Ardell lashes and I believe that these are the 110 lashes if I am not mistaken. Next, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara to put a coat of mascara on my lower lashes, and then I'm going to be applying a little coat on the top lashes just to help them blend in with the false lashes. Okay, and back to the face, I'm going to start with bronzing. I'm using the NARS Tahiti Bronzer in Laguna. Surprise, surprise. I'm using the mini Eda brush that comes with it to contour from the tops of my ears down towards the tops of my, the corners of my mouth. Then I'm going to apply this to the temples, the forehead, down the nose, on the chin. Pretty much I'm just going to bathe in this bronzer really quick. Okay. 
Okay, now that I'm done bronzing, I'm going to be going in with the Morphe 9B blush palette, mixing those two colors together there at the bottom, and applying that with a Morphe E4 brush. Then I'm going to apply my Sugar Lip Polish to my lips just to exfoliate before going in with my lipstick. Once that is all spread on and I feel that it has kind of exfoliated my lips, I'm going to take a clean makeup wipe and wipe it all off of my lips just to make sure that I get all the foundation and everything off of my lips before going in with liner and lipstick. Okay, so I'm going in with the next liner in the color Plum. I'm going to line my lips like normal, but I'm not going to fill them all the way in. Once my lips are lined, I'm going to go back over the lining and make it darker than I normally would on the outer part of my lips because once I go in with my lipstick, it's going to give it that ombre effect that is so popular right now. I realized how funny I looked with just lined lips. Now I'm going in with the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the color LBB, and I'm going to apply this all to the center of my lips, and then just rub them together like usual, and you'll see that there is a little bit of an ombre effect from the outwards working inwards, since I darkened that liner on the outer parts of my lips. Well, that completes this look. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye! Thank you.